something in this lesson on trade routes. It could also be called 10 ways to screw Pessoal, up others businesses. Vamos, estamos aqui para mais um tutorial, o quarto tutorial de Port Rally 4. Mais uma gameplayzinha continuando os tutoriais. Vamos lá então. Vamos lá. Hum. Aqui. Então tá mandando clicar aqui, né? Provavelmente será feita o Trade Route, né? Que é a, a rota do comércio aí. Vamos lá. Vamos aprender a rota do comércio. Clicou no barquinho. Clica na rota. Convoy, Esperar o cara falar. Own, buying, transporting, selling commodities. O trade route será feito o trade automatizado, né? a rota automatizada dos nossos barcos. Ah. Vamos lá então, trade routes, né? Faremos agora. Click on the trade routes button to open the dialog and then select create new route. Create new route, criar nova rota. Ó. Oh. Ó, oh, vamos lá. Here you create new here, trade routes here. and assign them to your convoys. Uh, a new route does not yet contain any rota. towns, so you will have to edit it first. This is the navigation hmm. map. Oh, rapaz, olha só. Isso para mim também é novo, tá? Eu tô aprendendo o tutorial e mostrando para vocês ao mesmo tempo. And time is money. Tá bom. Tá mandando clicar. Fazer a rota clicando. Tá, pelo que eu entendi nesse círculo avermelhado, né, há uma certa turbulência maior aí na, no mar. E com isso, com o barco passando por esta rota, no meio desse vermelho aqui, vai se danificando com o tempo. That's what areas with a dull wind look like. Here, convoys move very slowly. Therefore, such areas passando por are aqui, avoided. É uma rota que não tem essa turbulência, mas o barco fica bem lento. The colored areas near coasts indicate shallow waters que as, and reefs. Demonstrando draft, as rotas da costa, né, here, das costas do, do das praias aí da beira do, do Convoys consisting only of vessels with little draft have no problems here. É, por aqui não tem problema de danificar nem de velocidade, né? É as melhores rotas para fazer é por aqui, mas caso tenha outras ilhas, a gente às vezes tem que atravessar pelo mar vermelho. Now, look up to the left. Now, there you will see the towns where you have acquired a trading left. license. You will also see what each town is producing hum. at the moment. Vamos fazer a rota. Ele quer primeiro Cartagena. Cartagena. Porto Belo. A rotinha que ele fez aqui, ó. Tá por fora, né? Se eu clicar aqui. Não, não vai. Tem que ser no. Hum, talvez ele ensine alguma coisa depois, né? As you can see, all the towns will appear in the list. Olha, essa rota é horrível. A rota de retorno. However, this route is not very convenient. The convoy would have to sail frequently against the wind and would make only slow progress. The course of the route is already much more consistent with the wind directions. But you can optimize the route even more because it runs through an area with little wind. Agora Select the route at the marked position and move it up to the other marker aqui. outside the calm. And Vamos see how this reduces the duration of the trip. Passar dessa turbulência e principalmente desse onde não tem vento aqui, né, que é o centro do desse dessa explicação aqui. Aqui. You can certainly improve the route in other places to take better account of the wind. Avoid potential storms 
or avoid shallow water Aumenta and cliffs. Distância. Feel free to experiment. Then select the town of Cartagena in the list to set the commands for that town. Da, a rota do, do esquema aqui. Mandou colocar para cá. Hum. Agora, aqui em Cartagena. Of course, your people need to know what to buy, what to sell, and what to keep their hands off. So you give them guidelines, which they then follow. Don't worry, it sounds more complicated than it is. Tá. Provavelmente é o que colocar on naquilo que será comercializado, trocado ou vendido. Vendido, né? The commodities produced in a town are often in abundance. That makes them cheap, and you can sell them in other towns at a profit. Search for cotton and give the order to buy. É, Your people will cotton. then buy cotton é. as long as it can cotton. be sold on the cotton route, é o... and the purchase price is low o enough. O people buy cotton. But your people are not hum. stupid. If there are Compra no sell orders for a commodity, tá if there is no demand or if the purchase price is too high, Isso they will no... not buy it. Na rota de Cartagena. Provavelmente ele vai comprar de Cartagena, vamos ver. If you actually have to deliver preço. a commodity somewhere, even though it is ah, very scarce and expensive, preço, you can deactivate this automatic pricing and give your people a maximum purchase price. But for the beginning, you shouldn't even think about such things. Price. Find two more commodities in Cartagena that you want to buy and switch to the town Puerto Cabezas when you are ready. Ah, tá. O primeiro, o primeiro a gente deve escolher o que compra. Bom, tá mandando clicar aqui. Vamos ver. Oi. Tem mais coisa aqui para comprar. Esse aqui também. Então, provavelmente nós vamos comprar vegetais, algodão e tabaco de Catagena. E vender em Porto Cabeças. Puerto Cabezas can certainly use the commodities Mas you want your people seu. to buy in Cartagena. So set these commodities to sell. Vender, vender By vender. the way, if you select a commodity, okay. the list of towns will show you where it is bought or sold. Hmm. Of course, you can also set further preferences for priority, quantity, and price when selling. Venda, né? But it Top is not important at first. Quantia. If you want to know what this is for at a Eita. later time, just have a look Quantidade. at my tips and tricks. Total, né? Tá falando aqui quantidade total. Isso tá apontando aqui também. So, an easy route is now available. If you want, you can of course make Preço further aqui, settings ó. for the other towns. Preço Feel free to have a look around. Você dá, pode editar. Muito bacana. When you're hein? ready, close the edit mode Muito for the route. Muito bem elaborado end. esse sistema de comércio aqui. Trade do jogo. Muito legal, hein? Muito bem elaborado, muito bem pensado. Tá. Edit mode route again. You will now be shown all kinds of information about the route, but since the route is new, most of the values are zero, and as long as no convoy uses this route, nothing will change. Tem que assinar a rota agora. You should therefore assign it to your selected convoy. É pra dá um ok né como and now you only have to give your convoy the command to follow the route e ativar ela very good ativa. if you now close the route dialog you can see how your convoy sets sail e... and executes your commands in the port of Cartagena there are now two more lá, convoys lá, lá, ready lá. for you. O nosso comércio Up já here, indo you can see how many of your convoys are not on a trade route right now. You can select such a convoy either directly in the world or by switching aqui. through. Please switch to ah, a free sim. convoy now. É provavelmente para fazer outras rotas, né? Ele vai ensinar aqui. Now send this convoy ah, to the route. Mais um sing route. Ah, os três, dois navios, ó. Convoys em route, dois, né, agora. Great. You see, 
A route can have several hum, convoys. Agora sim, This is especially useful if the route is very long pra... or a lot of commodities have to be transported. Mais na mesma rota. A rota que tá passando por quatro cidades. Vou fazer cidades individuais também, cada navio, cada cidade. You can of course change, extend and optimize a route at any time. Estou impressionado com o sistema de rotas de trade. Port Royal 4. Finally, take a look at convoys and towns. Convoys and towns. Aqui. Lista. Among other things, all your convoys and vessels are displayed here. Aqui a gente vai ter o controle do, de gasto, you can talvez. also view the balances of your convoys. Which are currently on tour with a trade route. Tour. So you can quickly see Aqui, if a convoy is currently que, making gains or losses. nós estamos ganhando em cima das rotas. Controle de tudo que tem na rota, né? Duração. O que está carregando, o quanto, o maintenance que é a, a manutenção. Hum, muito, muito, muito bem feito. This lesson is now also completed. You have now learned the Bom, most important things concluído about trade o quarto tutorial. Agora vamos para o quinto tutorial. Eu vou até arrumar a descrição lá. Produção básica. Olha que esse tutorial vale a pena, hein? Welcome to the course about production. And why producing by yourself is better than buying from others. And while you're at it, I can Vamos also hammer some more insights home aqui. into the Caribbean economy. Trade aprovado, muito bem elaborado, muito bem feito no jogo. You already Gostei know that mesmo. you can earn a lot of money by buying commodities here cheaply and selling them expensive elsewhere. Now, it can happen that you could sell more commodities than are offered. For example, because the production is too weak or there are too many merchants underway, then it is worth considering getting into production yourself. Sure, during production there are costs for buildings, raw materials and workers. But if everything runs normally, you produce the commodities at a reasonable price and you can sell them for a profit wherever they are needed. With optimizations, you can reduce your unit costs even more and thus increase your profits. For this course, Cartagena is your hometown. Open the town dialogue. Vamos lá, começar. Vamos abrir diálogo com esta torre. Esta casinha aqui. Here, you can see which commodities can be produced with which efficiency by cultivation or mining. Of course, you can produce handicrafts everywhere because they depend on raw materials and not on geographical specifics. Com os itens específicos mostrado aí. Here, you can see which commodities are actually produced in the town. Aqui no básico, o tutorial básico já deu para ter uma ideia, né? Your businesses will also be displayed here later. Os sete diferentes produtos. These numbers tell you how many commodities in the town are produced per day and por dia. how much could be produced. If, for example, workers 24, or raw materials are 24. missing, this slows down the production. You should only produce the commodities that are scarce in the area. Because the production of commodities is really expensive and if you create an oversupply, the prices go down and you make losses. That also applies to other producers in the town. If they make losses with their commodities, they shut down production or even tear down their businesses. I'm only telling you this in case you ever have plans like that. Tutorial muito bem explicado. Check which commodities are in demand here. Vegetables are such a commodity, and Cartagena does not produce vegetables at the moment, but could. Vegetables are also scarce in the neighboring towns. You will quickly realize that when you trade. And since vegetables are high on the list, they have a big meaning for smaller towns. Vamos abrir 
Ó, construction menu. Vamos construir cultivação de vegetais. In the first section of buildings you can construct are town buildings like residentials or chapels. But we'll get to that in the next lesson. Hum, olha só. Olha o que o jogo misturou, hein? Temos trade. Temos as construções na sua área, na sua cidade. Ou ilha, ou estado. Seja lá como for. E temos também as batalhas navais, que é por turnos. A batalha navais nesse jogo é feita por turnos. É, que é o que mais para impressionar. O jogo vale muito a pena. É, vamos lá. Clicar na residencial. Áreas residenciais. Aqui. Pudding Towers. Essa aqui mesmo, né? Que quer que eu compre? Fique aonde? Qualquer lugar, será? Aqui a pessoa, as pessoas ficam com raiva. Não gosta do local. Mas aqui eles ficam felizes. You can find production businesses in the second section. The darkened businesses can't be built here. The conditions for that are missing. If you move the camera to the town of Nikolkli, south of Cartagena, you can see how the possible businesses change. Aqui estão. Produções. Of course, you can't just build anything anywhere. First of all, you need a trade permit so that you can trade and your fame increases. Only then you can get a building permit for businesses. If you even want to construct town buildings, you have to get the town administration from the viceroy. Now take a look at Cartagena to see the possible building sites for vegetable cultivation. Select a business and zoom in close to the town until building sites in different colors become visible. The plots are divided into two colors, rather negative and neutral. Okay. Gray fields mean disadvantages. Move the focus to such a field. You can see that the operation would have a negative effect on the satisfaction of the residents in several residential areas. There are no negative factors on the neutral fields. There you should now build a vegetable farm. Lugar verdinho é lugar próprio para a gente cultivar vegetais. Good. The construction contract is given. Here you can see which construction materials are needed and how much these materials and the construction costs. Tá. Custo de cost. Woods, né? Ele custa Madeira, né? Pra fazer vegetais. You don't have to worry about the construction workers, but they can only start working when the construction commodities are in stock. Ou é porque a gente colocou em cima do, das árvores, né? Então, acabou tirando as árvores. E vai custar madeira também. Close the construction menu again and move the focus to the business you just commissioned. É, eu tô falando sem ler aqui, tá? Em inglês, até porque eu não entendo muito. De vez em quando eu leio, aí eu até entendo, mas... Close. In the info area, you can see who owns the building, and if there are any commodities missing for construction. If so, you can either get them and sell them to the town, or you can wait until another merchant Bacana. did. Bacana. Without workers, nothing works, of course. Otherwise, you would have Abra. to harvest the carrots yourself. Aqui, Open né? the town dialogue by selecting an empty field or a town building. Here you can see how many job seekers there are in the town currently. Job seekers. They come with the treasure fleets from Europe to the town of the Viceroy and from there they are distributed via trade convoys to the other towns. You can help with a trick here. When you dismiss the sailors, they automatically become job seekers. Sailors, automaticamente. In order for job seekers to come to the town and stay until they find a job, the satisfaction in the town must be at least 40%. This is usually not a problem, but as towns get bigger, the demands of their inhabitants grow. 
But workers also need housing for themselves and their families. If there is not enough of it in the town, your business cannot hire new employees. Pessoal, eu procuro ficar em silêncio às vezes aqui, só ouvindo ele falar, porque quem quiser pode botar o tradutor automático no YouTube. Às vezes dá certo, às vezes não, né? Mas talvez aí dê certinho, que ele explica bem, fala bem, né? O carinha aqui, o nosso instrutor. E com isso, acaba aparecendo traduzido para quem que vocês não tá entendendo o tutorial. Ele explica aqui e você manda traduzir na hora que ele tá falando. If you really are the administrator of a town, as it is the case with your hometown, nobody else builds buildings but you. So you have to provide enough housing. On the contrary, if you are not the administrator, you have to wait until the town does it. If the town is doing well and there are enough building materials, it won't take long. Let's speed things up a bit. Your farm is now operational and has all the workers. Now, switch to the production tab and select vegetables. Vamos lá. Nossos vegetais que a gente acabou de colocar a cultivação Here you can see the vegetable production of the town. Your businesses are also part of it. And from tomorrow on, you can see which commodities your new business produces daily. Perdão, eu falei na hora que o cara estava se picando. Quem está no tradutor deu uma enrolada aí na legenda. As long as you don't have your own warehouse in the town, the produced vegetables will be sold to the town daily at the current price. As long as your business is running efficiently and the town is not drowning in an oversupply of vegetables, there is nothing wrong with that. Of course, you can prevent oversupply by selling the commodities to other towns yourself. For example, by using trade routes. If the neighbors drown in vegetables, you can also stop your production completely for a while to prevent the price drop of the commodities. Vegetables are cultivated. Other commodities such as iron or coal are mined. And there are handicraft businesses where raw materials are converted, such as weaving mills. Here, cotton is spun and woven into cloth. Such a weaving mill is needed right now in Cartagena. Get to work! Vamos lá. Business. Weaving mill. Como ele falou ali embaixo. E vamos fazer aqui mesmo. Vamos fazer do ladinho do coisa aqui. Very good. Let's speed this up. Now leave the construction menu and select the weaving mill to see its production. Here you can see what raw materials you need for your cloth production. As long as you don't have a warehouse in the town where the commodities are in stock, the business automatically buys the required cotton from the town as needed and sells the produced cloth back to the town. Vem aí. Cultivação de algodão que vai servir para fazer as roupas. Como eu já tenho esse produto já sendo cultivado já no tutorial. Ele vai servir para fazer essa nova fábrica de roupas aí, costura, roupa, sei lá. Vamos lá, seguir em frente. And the lesson on the basics of production is already over. Now you know why you should only produce commodities that are in demand. Also, you should always make sure that your businesses have enough raw material, because otherwise you will pay your workers to just sit around. Pronto pessoal, esse foi o nosso quarto e o quinto tutorial juntinhos aí para você dar uma acompanhadinha. Muito obrigado a todos que acompanharam o canal, acompanharam a gameplayzinha aí. Estaremos postando aí, no decorrer dos dias, mais do tutorial do próprio jogo que ensina você a fazer as coisas. Pra você ter uma ideia de como vai ser o joguinho Muito, muito bacana Vale a pena, hein? Tô gostando E você tá gostando? Se tiver gostando, dá um curtir aí 
dar uma compartilhada se puder. E eu agradeceria muito. Inscreva-se no canal, não deixe de se inscrever. E até a próxima e os próximos vídeos tutoriais. Valeu pessoal, fiquem com Deus. Até a próxima.